future is now. For anyone who watched Back to the Future, today's flying cars look a lot different than that iconic De DeLorean. This is the Black Fly. It's being called the first flying car. WRL's Flint Snyder used a real car and drove his way out to Garysburg and sat in one of these tonight. Uh, he joins us live to explain, is this the real thing? What was it like uh, up close and in person? Yeah, Dan, is this real? That is the number one question the owner says she gets when people see this thing. She hopes that what seems like a futuristic idea could one day transform the way people get around. Most days, it's the time on this track that counts. But today, it's the time above it that matters most. It looks like something out of the future, but it's Heather Shortia's reality. The vision of the flying car is everybody's going to have one. You're going to have one. I'm going to have one. She has the first one in the country, a single-seater all-electric aircraft from California-based company Pivotal. It was the focus of a demo at the Center for Automotive Research in Northampton County. You only need a, a you know, regular driver's license to fly it. You don't even need that, actually. You just need, you know, you need to be 18 and you need to have some manual dexterity. No pilot's license needed, but federal regulations do restrict flights to daylight hours and to non-congested areas only, meaning it could be some time before everyday Americans take to the skies in one of these. The regulations have to mature. GPS auto fly has to mature, just like auto drive has to mature. So only a handful of people across the country has one of these. It comes with a $190,000 price tag and does require a few days of training to fly. Uh, the owner says she is taking this cross country to show it off and, and show people what could potentially be the next uh, breakthrough in aviation in the skies. Flint Sider, WRL News, live in Northampton County. Well, 